with the cast of Taxi. Judd, I don't think I got to say congratulations to you for your, uh, you got nominated for your second Oscar earlier this year for your work with Steven Spielberg. Well, and uh, the Fablemans, and I, I hear he, he called you, he wanted you, so he yeah. called you. He's, he's good for that. He will call you on the phone and say, hey, I want you to come. What, so you get the phone call, did you go, oh my God. He wouldn't, sh wouldn't tell me what it was. He would only say, we go, we, it's like, we'll send you the script, read it and send it back. Right. Mm. So, but the only thing we could talk about was the fact that the character was going to be Someone who made it become a director. That's, that, that's all. It was like a line written, yeah. you know? This man made me become a director. I said, oh, that's baloney. That's baloney. <laughs> and I talked to Tony Kushner, who probably wrote the whole thing. <laughs> I, said, I said, so uh, uh, is anything real about what I'm saying? He said, everything. Wow. Oh, wow. Okay, go. Now you, now you got to do research and history. And I said, oh, what the hell? I'll just be me. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> well, Danny, you also have an um, animated uh, film called Migration coming out later yeah. this month. Yes, with, uh, this month it's uh, called Migration. I play Uncle Dan. Oh. And I'm a, a duck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a duck. Yeah, it's a duck. No. Yeah, I play a duck. And it's no. really, you know, it's been, you know, animation takes forever. And so it's been a couple of years I've been doing this. Oh, wow. And every once in a while, you know, going. I did uh, with this company, with uh, Illumination, ah. Chris Melandandri. We That's did the Lorax together. Yes. yes. I played the Lorax. They and did so, the Yes, thank you. Yeah. And so uh, they, they call me, and I, and I love doing that kind yeah. of stuff. Um, you're also on Broadway right now. Yes. Daughter, Lucy, That's right, Lucy. who's yes. making her Broadway debut. Yes, and mm -hmm. she is knocking them dead every She's night. She's incredible. The um, great thing about, yeah, we're we're doing, uh, we're at the Roundabout Theater, and we've been, these, they've all come to see it. My mm -hmm. And here's the big surprise. Mm -hmm. they play family. They play father and daughter. <laughs> <laughs> Another stretch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it, it's been glorious. Well, Mary Lou, you are back on the stage yourself. Yeah, yeah. In New Mad York. Women of the West. Uh, and I... <laughs> And I hear that the role was specifically written for you. Yes, well, um, I'm sort of like the swizzle stick that stirs the drink. I'm yeah. kind of a cat in the hat. It's about four college friends. Uh, three of them have stayed in touch. One of them went off to become an actress and a health guru and has this incredible memory and blah, blah, blah. And now I come back for the birthday brunch. <laughs> and that's the part I play. She comes back for this birthday brunch, and it's with Caroline Aaron, Melanie Mayron, Brooke Adams. We did it in, in L.A. Judd came to see it, and oh. so did Jim Brooks. And so we, then they wanted us to come to New York, so we're doing it. We opened last week, December 4th. It's oh. getting really great response. I'm coming tonight, so it's got to yes. be a little bit better. <laughs> Step it up. That's right. Swizzle stick. Really, really <laughs> yeah, so it's great. Now, Tony, Taxi was really not only your first role, but your launch pad mm -hmm. into your career, because then came what so many of us are fan fans of, who's the boss? Yeah. Um, so, <laughs> are there any updates on a reboot? Um, I kind of, I'm kind of like, you know, it's been, it's been up in the, 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 in the ether for so long, I'm, I'm kind of, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping it happens now. I mean, you know, oh, at some point, yeah. you know, you're like, yeah, let's do it. Uh, so I'm just waiting to hear like everybody else. You're still acting in shows like Raising Canaan, but you're really passionate about your work with the Stars of Tomorrow yeah. Project. Oh. The Stars of Tomorrow Project is my baby. It's, uh, it is a teen acting program here in the city. For the last eight years, there's the kids. Oh, yeah. For the last eight years, I've been with the Police Athletic League doing an, a teen acting program. To, Slogan of which is, when you teach a kid how to act, you teach a kid how to act. Anyway, <laughs> um, so anyway, so we went out on our own. We got our 501c3, and we had our first benefit. That's what that clip was from. Yeah. And it's just something, you know, that uh, try to give back a little bit. You know, this, this, we, could, we could do this for hours. Yeah. <laughs> But they won't let us. <laughs> but what an honor and a pleasure it is yeah. to have you all, first of all, here together. Right. And we know you all get together all the time, but we don't get together with you all all the time. So we'll it's a real back. great we'll thing. Back. Thank, Thank you for having us. Thank you for having us. All five seasons of Paramount Plus.